All right, let's talk about the kettlebell clean. It's definitely a movement that I was super intimidated to teach for a very long time uh, because it's awkward and weird. Much like the kettlebell snatch, we don't do these super often, so you find yourself as a coach not finding many reasons to figure out how to make them better <laughs> other than you're particularly ambitious. Uh, so, so I got showed this, this progression. I thought it was awesome, and it's worked really well for me. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our athletes and have them get to an athletic position, uh, hands on the knees. Uh, from there, what we're going to do is have them pick up a kettlebell with one hand. So they pick up the kettlebell with one hand. Back is flat. You know, your eyes go to every, all those good positions. We're then going to have them just do an upright row with a twist to their belly button. So give a little upright row with a twist. So they do one or two of these right hand, then you have them do one or two of these left hand. We're like, one or two left hand. You're like, okay, it's a little upright row with a twist. Good, now you go ahead and relax. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have them do an upright row with a twist, and then we're gonna have the other hand come through, push the bell to the back of their hand, and then they're gonna stand up. So they're gonna do an upright row with a twist, push the bell to the back of their hand, and then stand up. Okay, so they go back down. Upright row with a twist, push the hilt, good, and then they stand up. They do that to the other side, same sort of upright row with a twist, push it back, stand up, you do a few of those. Then what they're gonna do is the same thing, but starting with a little rock, and then when they come through, they upright row with a twist, use the other hand, and support it to the back. So it'll look like this, you show them, upright row with a twist, and then put it back here. Mm. Come back, upright row with a twist, put it back there. So they're using the other hand to support. So upright row with a twist. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Upright row with a twist. I like Boom. that. This, this guiding mechanism here yeah. really makes it nice. So the, the other hand coming across helps them feel a little secure with it. And you say, hey, guess what? You just did a kettlebell clean, except not with the other hand. So if you need to, you can keep the hand there, or you can just use no hand. And it's the same general thing. Where we tend to get in trouble is if it scoots away from the body, and they do that. Mm. So getting that first upright row and making sure they keep it tight. Those are the big keys there, yeah. Nice. And that other hand for support really helps them out. So that's a bit of a progression to use. People will still screw it up, but just keep watching how, how close it is to their body, where they're swinging it around, and give them that other hand for support. Good little way to break it down for them. Thank you for watching that. Just so you know though, that is just the tip of the iceberg. If you found that helpful and you want more content just like that, we have hundreds of these videos in the knowledge. Everything from cues and tips and tricks to theory content that will flush out your understanding of everything we do in CrossFit. If you wanna learn directly from me and do weekly calls where we do homework and everything in between, we also have the Knowledge Pro. If any of this sounds like your cup of tea, just click the link in the description for a free seven day trial.